Oh my God. Um, good morning. We are amazed but not amused by all the things that you say that you do. Uh, you're not much concerned but not involved with decisions that are made by you. Uh, and we are sick and tired of hearing your song. Telling us you're gonna change right from wrong. Cause if you really want to hear a view, you haven't done nothing. That's what we feel about the guy that's in the White House right now. This is going to be a short and sweet video um, because for those of us who are aware of narcissistic abuse, those of us who um, are uh, aware of flying monkeys and that whole dynamic and how people use these personalities to just convince uh, people that up is down and down is up. And the fact that the American public could vote something like this into office, it just goes to show you how sick we are as a nation. But what I really want to say is when you take civics out of the school, and when I was coming up, we had civics. You guys don't have civics. You didn't have civics in the school system for at least, I think, 20 years, unless your kids was in a private setting. So most of these people are ignorant. And they're, they're delusional, and they don't understand the difference of being loyal to a, your country and loyal to an individual. It's a cult-like mentality. Um, they don't understand that the president has a job to protect the country from all threats, foreign and domestic. And he's in bed with all the foreign people, and... Uh, actually trying to use them against his own people, which in my opinion is very treasonous. Um, and some of this stuff that I'm hearing is just, is really, it's sedition. But, now, who is, because the world is so crazy and that's not the world we live in now, and the people don't understand that the legislative branch, the executive branch, they don't understand, first of all, that each one of these House, these committees, these people have roles. Donald Trump don't know nothing about that, and he don't care about nothing like that. And so what the majority of people that don't know this, that there's rules and regulations to this shit. It's not just we willy-nilly and cheat and do all kinds of gangster stuff. Excuse my language. But those who don't even understand what civics is about don't even understand how government operates. And if the majority of his followers are people like that, except for the ones with an agenda that he helped get the money to, because it's obvious that this is so ridiculous since everybody knows that he was one of Hillary Clinton's biggest supporters. He was Democrat, given to all these Democrat uh, uh, you know, campaigns, and all of a sudden when he runs for president, he runs with all the stupid stuff in mind, becomes a freaking... But the racist was in them all the time. He was a racist all the time. That I'm not trying to deny. But the stuff that's happening right now for him to even take advantage of the party like that. Because I know Republicans. I mean, I've been around and left. I know a lot of black Republicans, to tell you the truth. Um, my best friend, one of my best friends growing up, um, were Republicans. Their mama and, and their dad were Republicans. Um... And it's just the way it was, because me and my daughter were friends. And I think my my parents, um, my mom at least, and my dad didn't vote. At that time, voted a uh, Democrat. But it had anything to do with our republic, I mean, our friendship, or nor our relationship. Because most of that stuff is just divisive type of stuff. It, it, it's, it's what the, peop the, the propaganda uses to keep people separate. But the fact that there are people that are, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but they are so ignorant because they don't really know how the country was set up and they don't even care. 
So it's like, well, why are you here? And why are you having blind loyalty to a man as a pro? It's like Jim Jones and the Guyanian, Guyanian cult. It's like, what? They drank the Kool-Aid. You know, and it's really a scary thing right now for America. And I just wish that people would put their party aside, Democrats and Republicans, all of y'all, just put all aside and look at what this guy is doing and understand about flying monkeys and narcissistic personalities and um, sociopaths because right now this guy is seeming to be more malignant and I'm, and I'm not a psychiatrist or a doctor I don't profess to be but I know what mental illness looks like and dementia because I also got that in my family and I'm dealing with it every day and Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani they're the head of the class. All the president's men, all of them, um, you know, Giuliani, Pence, a, um, Attorney General Barr, Pompeo, these guys have risked their own careers for Donald Trump. Giuliani, he's insane, you know. But I can't believe that they would risk their whole careers for this guy. But that's what happens when you're dealing with narcissists. They have you doing things that... You didn't think it was possible until you get to checking yourself and seeing how crazy you are. And I just hope it's not too late. And I know for some of y'all that think that Trump is a great, you know, president, I don't know. I haven't seen y'all on my page. But if you do, you know, as long as you're respectful, I welcome your comment too. Okay? But I think you hear we headed down a wrong hole right now. And I don't even think that y'all uh, blunt babies are smart enough to even know that. Some of y'all don't even get it. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, y'all, please help me out with this. Leave your comment below. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share.